It's Tuesday and it's my Friday. Just to rub it in your face. In case you didn't notice or you don't know, this week is Thanksgiving. That means we're all going to go visit our families and eat lots and lots of food. So in that spirit, we are talking about our family's Thanksgiving traditions. I don't really feel that my family has a lot of Thanksgiving traditions, but I'm going to talk about what Thanksgiving was like for me growing up most of the time. When I was growing up, we were almost always at my nanny and pappy's. That's my dad's parents, in case you were wondering. And just so you know, they're from eastern Kentucky in the Appalachian Mountains, in the hills. Now, we had all the usual stuff. We had the turkey, which nanny would get up really early in the morning and start working on. I had stuffing, we had mashed potatoes and gravy, we had cranberry sauce, which I didn't eat until I was an adult. I think we almost always had broccoli or some sort of vegetable. And we had pumpkin pie for dessert, and there was usually banana pudding when there was any kind of event that involved food. You can't have banana pudding without vanilla wafers. I almost forgot. I don't like pumpkin pie, so my nanny would always make me the chocolate pudding pie, because my nanny was awesome. And we had sweet potatoes, I'm sure, and all the kind of typical things. So there are three things that were sometimes or almost always on our Thanksgiving table at my nanny and pappy's that I'm pretty sure are not on your Thanksgiving tables. The first thing is fried yellow squash. My pappy always had a garden and he grew vegetables including squash. And so we almost always had fried yellow squash on Thanksgiving. Almost always. The second thing, it's an Appalachian thing, um, are shucky beans. Aaron, you might know what these are. They're also called leather britches. A shucky bean is a green bean that's been dried and they are dried to keep them during the winter. And my nanny has stories of her taking the beans and a needle and thread, threading the needle through the bean, and having this big long string with beans on it, and then hanging it over the wood stove with the hot air to dry it. That's how they did it. Here are some pictures of what the beans look like when they're being strung. Here's what they look like after they've been dried. Now same thing with any kind of dried bean. You soak them overnight and then you boil them um, after they've soaked overnight. The last thing that showed up on our Thanksgiving table and the Christmas table and the anything else special occasion table was this thing that we call green salad. Oh, green salad. Here's a picture for your enjoyment. It is a weird concoction. I've never eaten it. It looks really gross to me. It looked gross to me growing up. It still looks gross to me. And now that I know what was probably in it, I find it more gross. Ooh. I found a couple of recipes and I have no idea which one is the one my nanny used. I don't know how they ate it. Ooh. So, green salad is lime jello. Might also have lemon jello. There's usually some sort of fruit juice like pineapple or pear, something sweet, um, and that's incorporated into the jello. Sometimes there's cherries. That's not really my thing, but I, again, I can kind of roll with that. There are pecans in it. I'm not so sure I'm okay with that because it would always be crunchy. I always hear them crunching, and I'm like, why is the jello crunchy? So those are kind of interesting ingredients. They're not really all that weird. It's the cottage cheese and the mayonnaise where I draw the line. Really? Who puts mayonnaise and cottage cheese in their jello? You put them in the jello! So now that I know that those are quite likely ingredients in the green salad, it has solidified my belief that green salad is not something that you want to eat. Really, the only other tradition I can think of was that I would get up and watch the Thanksgiving Day Parade. That's really it. Watch the Thanksgiving Day Parade and then eat. And that's it. Do you need anything else? 
So I hope to see Josh sometime this week. I know that he was busy yesterday and was traveling today, but I hope to hear what his Thanksgiving traditions are in his family. And John, I look forward to seeing your family traditions uh, tomorrow. And Aaron, I look forward to yours on Friday. And Mary, I will continue to wish, hopefully, that you will one day appear again to us on Thursday. Sadly, I don't think I can hold my breath for that. So I will continue to, you know, wait patiently and twiddle my thumbs in the meantime. Bye. This is not going very well. Oh, that stuff just, mmm, can't do it. Ooh. What's going on with my shiz?